the terror group responsible for the Westgate siege. Is Al-Shabaab preparing another atrocity in Kenya? Kenyan intelligence officials say they've monitored a recent increase in so-called chatter from suspected militants, suggesting something big is in the pipeline. The ideology that Some is experts say the group has been overshadowed of late by ISIS and that it needs to rebuild its profile. The, the latest chatter that we've seen increasingly is, is uh, uh, one is, is to continue in its efforts to intimidate and to legitimize their actions and recruitment. But the group has shown before it can strike with little force, even if its fighters are on the back foot in Somalia. The latest threat by the militants is against Kenya's parliament. A police source tells me security for lawmakers is under constant review both against internal and external threats. Currently, members of parliament are entitled to at least one bodyguard and security is provided for their offices and official residence. Security has also been enhanced around parliament. Surveillance cameras dot the roof line of the buildings. There are more security checks and heavily armed police. Lawmakers we spoke to say they are satisfied with the steps taken. What we have been assured by the speaker is that uh, measures have been put in place to make sure that the parliament and within the environment of parliament is secure from any infiltration. There is uh, enough uh, security around parliament there is enough security around uh, members of parliament. It's been three months since the last known attacks by Al-Shabaab in Kenya. Two separate massacres near the country's border with Somalia. The government's convinced it has fatally weakened Al-Shabaab's local support base. Security experts agree Kenya has improved its tactics. The security agencies uh, are more or less on top of uh, things compared to the way it used to be before. And uh, uh, because of this, most of these groups have actually now gone underground. Still, Al-Shabaab continues to defy those who claim it's a bit in force. And in recent days, it's given Kenyans a chilling insight into the way it works. Last June, 48 people were slaughtered in the small town of Mpeketoni on Kenya's coast. Al-Shabaab's now released a video purportedly showing its fighters making their way to the town moments before the attack. Robert Nagela, CCTV, Nairobi, Kenya.